I grew up in Musenbu, down the road from the beach, and there's the mountain and the flay. My father was a fisherman, so we were very connected with the water and the weather and whether the fish would be biting. A lot of my growing up was about fishing. <laughs> yeah, we were active, we swam a lot, we bodyboarded. At school I played netball and I swam, so I was always quite active at school. I started really putting on weight when I was about in my 20s and I think that's normal, you're out of house and you can suddenly make your own decisions and if you haven't got the right tools, you eat incorrectly. I thought I was doing the right thing. I mean, I would have cereal for breakfast with low-fat milk and sweetener and then two hours later I was hungry so I'd have a muffin because muffins are healthy and then I would have a sandwich and then at three o'clock I'd be hungry again, so I'd have a piece of fruit or banana, and then I would eat dinner. So I felt like I was eating all the time and never satisfied. I'd find myself in the kitchen eating and not even realizing why I was eating. But then afterwards you feel uncomfortable and you feel ill and you wonder, what just happened? A lot of the times I was just sitting on the sideline. I was not swimming because I was too conscious to be in my costume. Not being a good example to your family and not being a good example to my daughter, that was, that was low for me. I think my doctor actually told me once, you know you won't be around for your daughter's 21st. My friend Kat gave me the Real Meal Revolution. It was just taken South Africa by storm and everybody was talking about banting, so I thought I'd give it a try. I just started really getting into learning more and listening to podcasts and reading the banting books, reading the fat book, and just enjoying understanding what drives your body and how it loses weight was very important to me. So everything I do is to try and control the insulin. So if you eat carbs, you make insulin, the insulin tells your body to store the fat. And while you've got insulin in your body, it's not going to release the fat. The first thing is no carbs, no sugar. Once you've mastered that, the rest will come. You go through a carb flu when your body changes from using carbs to fat. That is sometimes where people give up because you don't feel great and you've got a headache and you're lethargic. So I'd have eggs for breakfast and I'd have bone broth and I would have lunch, then I'd maybe have nuts in the afternoon and dinner and coffee after dinner. And that kind of helped me get through the initial not eating carbs. You've just got to push through that and then you start feeling amazing. I felt so good, I just carried on. Every morning I'd wake up and say, it's easy, just no sugar, no carbs, no sugar, no carbs, till it became a routine. I felt healthy, I felt energized, I didn't feel this need to eat all the time and it just started working and I just continued doing it. I mean the energy, the mental clarity, now I have work, I have gym, I have friends, I have family, I have exercise. That just kind of keeps you going because you just feel so awesome. The way I'm eating now I feel like I can eat like this forever. I'm not deprived in any way. Starting to walk and starting to go to gym was kind of a strategy as well. Once I started exercising, it was amazing. It gave me a nice outlet. I could feel my body changing. People were noticing the changes. And it also helped a lot with work stress. You come out of there and you just, whatever. <laughs> it's not so important anymore. <laughs> you just feel so great. When you're eating well, you understand that everything you eat is nutrition and you don't want to spoil that. You're eating such good food, why poison yourself with something that's so artificial? So now it's more about using really healthy food and putting healthy food into your body, you know, and, and making healthy choices. My daughter is now 16. I'm happy to go swim, I'm happy to climb the mountain, I'm happy to spend time with her, go shopping with her, you know, and she's proud of me as well, and that's important. She's proud of me in front of her school friends and now they're, how old your mom? She looks so young. <laughs> <laughs>